Hey everyone, Rick Albert here. Escalation clauses, what are they? What does it mean? What does it mean as a seller? What does it mean as a buyer? What, what, what's going on? Let's get started. Okay, so what is an escalation clause? The escalation clause is what buyers will put in an offer if they want to get a certain um, price without a cap. What do I mean by that? So you generally will say, I'm willing to pay X number of dollars above any bona fide offer. So it's usually in the range of, I've seen 1,000 to you know 5,000 typically. Uh, but the idea is this. Hey seller, whatever offer you get, I'm willing to pay $5,000 higher, or I'm willing to pay $1,000 higher. So if they get an offer for 700, your offer is automatically 701. Now, typically, buyers will put a cap on it. So I'm willing to pay $1,000 above any bona fide offer up to 750,000. So how does this work? Well, if you're the buyer, you're guaranteed to be the highest offer obviously, unless you put a cap. Um, if you're the seller, you're automatically going to get a higher number. Here's um, a couple of things to keep in mind. Um, one, some listing agents don't like it. They think you're not playing fair. I look at it as it's not so much they're not playing fair, they're playing within the rules. It's just they're showing how badly they want the property. Here's the mistake that buyers make. They put a cap on it. Right? Remember I said $1,000 above any bona fide offer up to $750,000? That's actually a mistake. Don't put a cap. Now you're probably thinking, Rick, what if it ends up at like $800,000? Well, then don't take it. Ta-da! Right? So a buyer can write an offer, $1,000 above any bona fide offer. The listing agent calls and says, look, the highest offer is $800,000. You can say no. You can pass. No one's forcing you to buy the property. So, but by putting a cap on it, you could be pissing off a seller. If I'm a seller and I saw that, I'd be like, why not just offer 750? Like, why are we playing this game? It's clear that you don't want to overpay, which is why you put the cap on it. So typically when I see when that happens, is listing agents say, just counter with the cap, right? So does the strategy work? Yes, I did it on my own property. On the house that I'm house hacking right now, we said $1,500 above any bona fide offer. And the price went high. But at the time, because we locked in our appraisal contingency, we still had one. I was like, look, if it doesn't appraise, it doesn't appraise. We can renegotiate. We ended up renegotiating for other reasons, almost 10% off the contract price. If you wanna know how I did it, feel free to DM me, I'm happy to talk about it. Uh, so there you have it, the escalation clause. Do you like it? Do you not? Do you think it's cheating? Do you think it's not? What are your thoughts? Comment below. Don't forget, please, please follow me, subscribe, wherever you're watching this, share with your friends, like it, love it, hate it, comment, I don't care. Just show the love and support. You guys have a great rest of your week.